Hi there, my name is Sayed. In this video, we will learn about uh, SAP Logistics Business User Tutorial where uh, we will take a look in the system, what uh, sorts of modules are available. We will log on to the system and do some sample transaction and uh, what day-to-day -day activities some users have. We will talk about it and uh, we will talk about SAP add-on modules. Uh, what are those uh, when logistics areas? and uh, let's get started within sap we can see there are different modules and a uh, few of the uh, few of the modules are sap sales and distribution sap material management sap warehouse management so these are the few modules within uh, sap and add-on systems are sap apo system sap ewm and um, when we talk about sap sales and distribution for example uh, there uh, could be different set of uh, area, areas within those for example sales and distribution might have different master data related transactions and uh, could be inquiry related different function quotation sales rebate um, pricing so they could be different all uh, different users uh, or maybe there's a, a cross uh, function mod, uh, users maybe they are working on multiple things at a time depending on the company's uh, functions and departments they might have some functions available and we are using sap module or uh, depending on the uh, what roles and responsibility user have so same thing for material management purchase purchasing purchase acquisition uh, same thing for warehouse management they might have different uh, picking packing person uh, there's a loading person could be different uh, and then a uh, good issue person is different so depending on the uh, how they have structured the warehouse and so on and so forth so if we take a look at the uh, SAP logistics folder so this is SAP easy access screen uh, so in easy access we can see there is the different folders and within logistics uh, folder we can see the different modules within that uh, this is SAP e Easy Access from SAP S4 HANA, uh, which is uh, SAP latest uh, module in the market. And, uh, and and maybe if you have SAP ECC or different module, they might you might see different set of uh, folders and modules within that. So it all depends. So SAP sales and distribution is one of the module. Uh, we can see SAP material management is a different module. And within those folders, we can see more functions. So if I log on to the system, uh, we can see uh, this is a logistics folder and uh, uh, this is logistic execution, sales and distribution, material management. Material management, if I click up here, I can see there's a purchasing uh, within purchase I can see purchase order purchase acquisition so that I was talking about that uh, when in a company they might have different set of users who only works on a purchase order maybe one person or multiple people uh, purchase acquisition may be a different set of people they might have different uh, if the companies uh, in different countries they might have different uh, users uh, as per the country as per the region as well so depend on the uh, how the functions are divided into the users and what functions they have uh, same thing for the sales and distribution uh, there is a different set of uh, users who might work on master data related uh, transaction uh, products conditions for pricing condition business partner business partner is uh, sap s4 hana if you are an ECC system, you might see as a SAP a customer. And uh, so that is uh, a few of the example of master data. In sales, we can see there is uh, inquiry, quotation, order. So uh, there uh, may be, uh, if one company might use inquiry, one company might not use inquiry, uh, quotation, same thing. Uh, contracts, back orders, uh, so th those are all different type of uh, transactions. So let's take a look at the order and let's create an order and see how it looked in the system. So if you are a, a person who work on the sales order creation, you might uh, go to the screen, you enter the order type 
you enter the uh, customer information uh, what uh, its order is for uh, what uh, customer is this for uh, purchase order number uh, and uh, material master number and uh, order quantity so a uh, master data will bring all the related information from the master data uh, customer information is coming up from the business partner or customer information material master information coming from the material master uh, description uh, weight uh, pricing information coming from pricing master data so all sort of uh, all sorts of different information coming up and uh, is based on the uh, different set of users who work on different things so if i click on save it, this order will be saved and so we can see on the bottom a standard order has been saved and if i press uh, this is t code bar where i can enter the transaction code uh, so forward slash n it will take me to the main screen where we were before so so here we are again so the main screen so let's go ahead and try one more transaction for material management uh, purchasing we will try purchase order and i'm going into the uh, this route to just show uh, uh, how to do this transaction so me21 in to create the purchase order so this is the screen where uh, uh, purchase order can be created where we can enter the material information purchasing org purchasing group company code uh, vendor information vendor number and also we can search the vendor number as well so this is the screen to where uh, the person who work on purchase order uh, come into the screen and create the purchase order also we can see there are different uh, reports are available for users to work on and this is SAP easy access screen for end users where they can log on and uh, select these folders uh, and so and also if, if a person who have a transaction access for the sales order uh, or inquiry maybe different users might not have it depending on to the uh, system access are given to the user where they can create an order and they and where they can change the order depending on to the uh, com uh, the user role and responsibilities user have so that's it for the system demonstration uh, let's take a look at uh, one more slide so um, if you are an uh, end user, uh, this book might be very useful for you. Quick SAP Basic End User Guide, uh, where you will find SAP navigation tips, uh, how to install SAP GUI on your system, reports, uh, tips and tricks, uh, just basic SAP basic skills. Uh, I am a published author and this is one of my book, avail book available on Amazon. And I also have more books available on Amazon. A link will be uh, available in the YouTube description. Um, and uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like more videos on this channel, please go ahead and check them out. Uh, and uh, leave us a comment, feedback. Thank you very much.